away from how to solve this nice extent of equation to find the value of a and b let this be equation one and this be equation two from here then from equation one we have a plus b equal to 20 then from here let's take a to the other side and we have b now equal to 20 minus a then from here we have from equation 2 a times b equal to 44 then we can substitute the value of b here back in equation 2 and that will be a times 20 minus a then equals to 44 on this side then we can use a to open the bracket and this becomes 20 a minus a square equal to 44 from here and what we have here we can take everything to one side and we are going to form a quadratic equation when minus a square comes here we have a square then plus 20a become minus 20a then we already have plus 44 then now equals to 0 from there and from here we have a quadratic equation in terms of a then using the quadratic formula here a will now be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a here a in this formula the same thing as the quotient of a square a which is 1 and b here is quotient of a which is minus 20 then c there is 44 then when we substitute here we have a now equals to minus minus 20 plus or minus square root of minus 20 square then minus 4 times 1 times 44 then all divided by 2 times 1 then when we solve for that we have here a now equals to 20 now plus or minus square root of minus 20 square same thing as 400 then minus 4 times 1 times 44 we have 176 then over 2 from here then next we have a now equals to 20 plus or minus root here 400 minus 176 we have 220 4 then over 2 then we can also write 224 as 16 times 14 that is here we have a now equals to 20 plus or minus root 16 times 14 over 12 and what we have root 16 times 14 here can be separated as root 16 times root 14. That is from here, root 16 is 4, which is now root 4 root 14 from here. Then what we have now, we can write this as a equals to 20 plus or minus 4 root 14, then all over 2 from here. And also, this can be written again as a equals to 20 over 2 plus or minus 4 root 14 over 2. And from here, this becomes a equals to 10 plus or minus, here we have 2 now, root 14. So here we have 2 values for a the first one we have a1 equals to 10 plus 2 root 14 then we have the second one a2 equals to 10 minus 2 root 
14. Then from here, we can as well get the corresponding value of B using the relation with R, which is B equals to 20 minus A. So when we use this from here, then B1 will then be equals to 20 minus A1, and the here A1 is 10 plus 2 root 14. Then here, we use minus to open this bracket, and we have B1 now equals to 20 minus 10. A minus 10 plus A minus root 2 root 14. Then here, B1 now equals to 20 minus 10, that's 10 minus 2 root 14 from here. Then the first set of solutions from here, which is A1 comma B1, this is 10 equals to A1 from here we have 10 plus 2 root 14. Then, comma B1, which is 10 minus 2 root 14. Then, also here, we can get the A2 from here. Then, using this simulation that B2 now equals to 20 minus A2, which is 10 minus 2 root 14 here. Then, minus also open bracket, we have B2 now equals to 20 minus 10. Then, this becomes plus. 2 root 14 from here, then B2 now equals to here 10 plus 2 root 14. That is from here the second set of solution from here, which is A2, A2 comma B2, we then be equal to from here A2 we have 10 minus 2 root 14. Then comma B2, which is 10 plus 2 root 14. So from here, we have these two sets of solutions from this given problem. And when we look at this, A1 here, same as the B2 here, and B1 here, same as the B2 here. Then we can check to see if this satisfies the given problem. From the first equation, we have a plus b equals to 20. Now, using the first you know, solution here, a there is 10 plus 2 root 14, then plus b, which is 10 minus 2 root 14. Here, with this, we equals to 20. And from here, this is plus 2 root 14 minus 2 root 14. This cancel out. Then we have 10 plus 10, is it equal to 20? Of course, 10 plus 10 is 20, which is equal to 20. Then the left hand side equals to the right hand side. And hence, it satisfies the first equation here. Now, from the second equation given, which is A times B equals to 44. Also, when we multiply this, we have a which is 10 plus 2 root 14 then times b which is 10 minus 2 root 14 with this we equals to 44 on this side then here this follows from power square when we have a plus b multiplied by a minus b here this same thing as a square minus b square. It implies that here we have 10 square minus 2 root 14 all square. Here 10 is having as a and 2 root 14 is having as b. And is this equals to 44 on this side? Then here 10 square we have 100. 10 times 10. Then here, what we have here, this square will affect 2, that is we have 2 square, then with 14 square, it will affect with 14 as well. Then 2 square here, we have 2 times 2, which is 4. Then times here, square times square root, and we have 14. 
and from here 4 times 14 plus 56 from here that is from here what we have here is simply minus 56 and is equals to 44 then 100 minus 56 of course that's 44 which is equals to 44 also left hand side now equals to right hand side and then we have the solution also satisfy the second equation and thank you for watching don't forget this steps subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell see you next class and bye for now